Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I thought I'd show you some of the citrus protection I've done. So today is the 25th of November and we've had what I'd class as the first hard frost um, of the year. It got to at least minus one most of the night last night. I think it even got down to about minus two uh, briefly. And you can see these colocasias um, which are quite badly damaged by the frost. Um, so yeah, these are now going to shrivel up and uh, wither away, which is not a problem because the the actual tubers or corms underground are actually hardy, um, so I will be mulching them um, once they've completely died back, um, and they should be able to survive the winter. We survived um, the freeze we got in December last year, so if it can survive that, it should be fine most winters anyway. You can see I've got the... Um, the bananas out the ground last night um, before the cold came because I didn't, I didn't want to risk them. And the Musa Baju are left unprotected. You can see it's actually surprisingly okay. I mean, obviously the leaves have got frosted a bit, um, but some of them are not as bad as I thought they'd be. Um, the one at the front is much, much smaller than this, has been completely frosted. Um, it's in a much more exposed part of uh, a property anyway at the front it doesn't get as much sun and it's also yeah not near the house so it's probably about um, maybe about 10 meters away from the house so yeah it's much less sheltered there you can see there's still frost on the garden here this part of the grass doesn't get much sun at this time of year um, you can see there's actually a bit of ice in there I think it's mostly melted now but yeah it was iced over last night so I'll just show you the clementine tree which I protected last night. Um, I didn't have much time to prepare this. Um, I'll just show you, um, I, I took a video of um, what it was like uh, when I took this cover off um, about half an hour ago. Um, what I did is I, I've covered it with two, um, two bags. I put a smaller frost cloth over the plant um, and then I put these wooden stakes in the ground um, and then I had a larger, uh, bigger frost bag over the top of that. Um, I also had this little lychee seedling, I had a plant pot over it with a rock on top um, and then I had a large bucket of water um, here. Um, I was going to put some Christmas lights on it, which I've got, um, but unfortunately the uh, doesn't reach the, um, where my power outlet is in the shed so I've got to order an extension for that well, I've already ordered it but it's not going to come until tomorrow so yeah hopefully I'll be able to get that um, set up because we do have more hard frost predicted over the next week um, I think it's going to be a little bit milder for the next couple of nights tonight I think it's going to get down to about zero degrees uh, and then the day after about three degrees Celsius um, but then I think from around Wednesday onwards it's going to be pretty much minus one, minus two every night. Um, so yeah, definitely not the best um, for a citrus tree. Um, but I'm hoping with the bit of protection I, um, I give it, it should be fine. Now, I did have this um, little thermometer um, under here. It's slightly broken. Some of the, the lines are broken on that on that part of the screen. So yeah, just ignore the middle one because that's supposed to be the current temperature, but yeah, it's completely uh, inaccurate now. But the minimum down there is 1.1 degrees Celsius, and that was, um, I just put it here, right against the trunk, like that. So with the, um, the frost blankets and the bucket of water underneath, it kept it to um, just above freezing. Um, which should be fine for, for this clementine tree. Um, I'll just show you the, um, the citrus in the greenhouse. I also managed to get them covered up as well. Okay, so um, I'm just coming into the greenhouse now. So you can see I managed to get some bubble wrap added um, yesterday before the frost came. Um, there's a few little gaps at the side where I didn't quite have enough bubble wrap to cover them. Um, I do still have a little bit more, so I might be able to cut that up into a smaller width and uh, fit a little bit more into the, some of the gaps. But yeah, I think everything should be fine in here. 
managed to keep the, um, the temperature just above freezing. I think it got to 1.9 degrees Celsius was the lowest temperature in here last night. I did have this little tubular heater going last night. I turned it on just to make sure it wouldn't get too cold in here. Um, I do also have this new, um, this new heater. And this is a two kilowatt um, heater. It does kick out a lot of heat. Um, I didn't use it last night apart from briefly as I was just testing it once I plugged it in just to make sure it was uh, working fine in here. Um, and I'm hoping not to use this until we get much colder um, temperatures. Um, as I think the little tubular heater which doesn't use that much power in comparison should just be enough for the uh, slightly milder nights. I think that uses about 70 watts, might be 69 or a bit less, I can't remember. Um, but this one obviously can go up to 2 kilowatts, um, which, yeah, is definitely going to cost a lot of, um, to keep it running all night. But yeah, I think everything in here um, was okay last night, which is good. Um, as I mentioned, we do have more hard frost predicted um, over the next week. Um, so yeah, might even have to put the heater on if we get colder than the minus two that's predicted on some of the nights. So in here it's mostly just the citrus I've got. Um, I do also have this tamarillo plant in here as well. Um, and I put that right next to the tubular heater. So hopefully it shouldn't ever dip below zero. Um, and apart from that I've also got um, this tomato plant here. Um, which I'm just going to see how long it survives for, to be honest. I'm not particularly worried about it. Um, and then I have the uh, Rosan Loquat, uh, which is fully hardy outside, um, but I wanted to leave it in the greenhouse, since there's plenty of space now, um, just to keep it um, a little bit happier and hopefully push these new, uh, this new growth out a little bit faster. Um, I do need to get it repotted, naturally. I also have this little kiwi plant in here as well. Again, should be hardy outside, but I've not had a chance to plant it yet. So I'm just going to keep it in here until I get a chance to plant it, um, probably in spring next year. I also have just a couple of other plants down there. You can see I've got um, some lemon guava cuttings, which are rooted. Um, there's a bit of soil on that one, it's not not frost damage or cold damage, it's just a bit of soil that's landed on from pot above, I believe. I also have this um, prickly pear here, um, it's a Puntia ficus indica, it's the standard uh, prickly pear cactus. I think it's only hardy to about zero degrees, um, so I'll put it in here to see if I can keep it happy. Okay, and next to that is a little Tetrapanax rex. Um, yeah, that one is supposed to be hardy outside, but with it being quite a small plant, I decided to uh, overwinter it in here. Um, and then I've got lots of grafted citrus, um, little grafts that I've been um, trying to keep alive. Um, all these were in the other greenhouse, which got um, completely destroyed the other week. Um, still need to add some more soil into some of these pots. Um, I think I've now figured out which ones are which um, out of the ones that had labels missing um, looking back at my old videos um, so it's definitely quite helpful uh, taking videos and uh, photos of some of your plants just in case you can later identify them even if you don't end up uploading them anywhere online so yeah, overall all the citrus are looking quite happy in here um, I think I will actually give them a bit of a feed um, now that they're in here and not going to get watered on. Um, the plant pots themselves are mostly quite heavy though because it has been raining a lot while they're outside. Um, but I think one feed won't, won't harm them too much. Um, and then after that I probably won't water them at all over winter. Um, I might also try a foliar feed, especially now they're under cover. Although, of course, this one, um, which was completely leafless all the year outside, um, is going to be better if I give it a feed in the soil, as there's no leaves for it to actually spray, apart from these couple at the bottom. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, 
Most things are looking quite healthy. This is my new um, Moro Blood Orange, which I just uh, made a video of yesterday. So I think that video should have gone out by the time this one has been released. But yeah, I um, thought I'd just make this uh, to show how I'm overwintering the citrus this year. Um, so it's pretty similar to last year, except the slightly larger greenhouse slash polytunnel and the addition of this new heater. Um, just in case we get any extreme cold like we did last December, um, which I wasn't particularly prepared for. So I'm hoping this heater um, will help us out if we get any uh, really cold temperatures again this year. Um, but yeah, hopefully I won't have to use it too much. I am also slightly worried about this winter. Because of the El Nino event um, this, this year, I'm slightly worried that we might get a colder winter. Because if you look back at some of the previous El Nino events, uh, we typically end up getting a colder winter the following January. Uh, not always, but um, but yeah, there's definitely potential risk for that. But yeah, I'll definitely keep everyone updated on how, how this gets on. I know a lot of people have been uh, wondering how I'm going to be overwintering them this year. Um, so yeah, apart from the clementine in the ground, which I'll do another video on once I've got the lighting set up for it. Um, everything else is going to be tucked away inside the greenhouse and hopefully kept um, above zero. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll be sure to keep you all updated with how the citrus um, get on. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.